Your smartphone through the genius of Einstein. Chapter 5 How Your Smartphone Uses Quantum Mechanics. Our premise is that we have a new civilization based on these smartphones. If Einstein were exploring nature today, he would start with the quantum mechanics he finds inside your smartphone. In this video, we will explain how your smartphone uses quantum mechanics. Don't panic. There's no math. It will be easy to follow, easy to understand. If we take a picture, the information is stored inside your smartphone by means of something called quantum tunneling. Suppose you drop a ball down the side of a valley. Classical wisdom tells us that when the ball rolls up the hill on the other side, it can't go any higher than the height from which you dropped it. That's conservation of energy. Even if there's a nice big long slope to roll down on the far side of the mountain, the ball just can't get there, unless you give it enough energy to get over the barrier. But in quantum mechanics, things work a little differently. You see, the quantum world is probabilistic, so if you release a particle in a valley, chances are the next time you see it, it'll still be somewhere in that valley. But if there's a nice big slope to roll down on the far side of the mountain, well, that's a place the particle would really like to be. And it turns out, there's also a small chance that's where you'll find it. This is called tunneling because it is as if the ball simply tunneled through the mountain. To understand how memory works, we will examine this one terabyte memory chip within which there is a microchip that can store about three weeks worth of video and TV shows. When we zoom into that at a microscopic level, we find one specific memory component called a charge trap flash. The charge trap is shown here as an orange bar, which is like a valley within which electrons get trapped. The charge trap is surrounded by a dielectric material where the yellow arrows are. That is an insulator that keeps electrons from passing through. You can think of the charge trap as being a valley and the dielectric material as being the walls of the valley. When electrons shown in yellow move into that valley, they get stuck there and cannot leave and stay there for years. This is the basic idea of how your smartphone stores information. The electrons started in the channel, which is blue. The blue channel is in its own valley, surrounded by dielectric walls, and thus there are two valleys, blue and orange, and the electrons can stay in one or the other, but not move back and forth. But here is the problem. How do we move electrons from the blue channel across the mountain range into the orange charge trap? In other words, how do we write information into a memory cell in our smartphone? We don't have enough energy to throw the electrons over the top of the mountain range. In quantum mechanics, each electron is not located at a specific point, but in a probability cloud that shows where the electron is likely to be found. When we apply a positive charge to the green gate on the right, that positive charge attracts the negatively charged probability cloud of the electrons in the channel and pulls that probability cloud towards the orange charge trap. If the dielectric mountain range is thin enough and the gate voltage is high enough, then the probability cloud will be pulled enough to the right so that it is likely that some electrons will get trapped in the orange valley. And thus we have written information into a memory cell of our smartphone. This is called quantum tunneling because we can imagine that the electrons tunneled through the dielectric mountain range rather than going over the peaks. And every time you take a picture, your smartphone uses this phenomenon to write information to the charge trap flash memory cells. Scientists and engineers use a set of quantum mechanical equations developed by Ralph Fowler and Lothar Nordheim in the 1920s for figuring out exactly how thin the dielectric barrier should be and how strong the gate voltage should be in order to tunnel electrons from the channel across the dielectric and into the charge trap. In fact, 
Perhaps the most impressive detail is how thin the dielectric barrier is. These are some of the smallest things humans have ever mass manufactured. And, as you see, the dimensions shown here are in nanometers. If we were to zoom in on the dielectric, we find that it's only 75 to 100 atoms thick. This ends how your smartphone uses quantum mechanics. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. The next video in three weeks will be E equals MC squared.